Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's me, Warram, and today I'll be breaking down one of the most advanced movement techniques you've been seeing all over Season 17. You've probably seen some of your favorite streamers such as Fade or Ecstasy doing a mantle jump. And mantle jumping is not as hard as you think it might be. It's pretty easy, I break it down into simple baby steps so you could take it one step at a time. So once you master one step, move on to the next. But before we get into today's video, make sure to drop a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. It'll really help me out and I really enjoy having you here. And don't forget to check out my other social media platforms, such as TikTok where I upload twice daily, and Discord where you can come, join, try to make some friends, share a laugh, or memes, or whatever, just trying to find people to play with. It's a really fun environment, come join. Now before we get into the steps on how to perform mantle jump, let's establish what a mantle jump actually is. A mantle jump is simply just a super jump performed on a zipline mid-air. Normally, in order to perform a super jump, you'll have to be in contact with the ground. This is the only way to perform this movement technique. Now to mantle jump, whenever you mantle onto a ledge, Apex thinks you're on the ground, which now enables you to super jump. That's where you'll be able to super jump now. All you'll need to do is step back off the ledge and super jump off the zip line. Let's get into the steps. Now when it comes to the first step, you need to be comfortable super jumping. And by this, I mean you should be hitting all of your super jump. It's a super easy mechanic and I recommend that you use the mindset I currently use. I currently bind my jump button to my scroll down. So it just spams the input of jumping. So whenever you just hit your E button and you spam your scroll wheel right after, you'll always be hitting that super jump. This will make mantle jumping just a little bit easier and this is the only bind you'll need to change. Now if you are playing a controller, there is one bind that you can change that makes super jumping super easy. And that's called bumper jumper. Because I came from Call of Duty and I used to play on the setting, you'll be jumping with your L1 button instead of your X button. This makes it super easy to super jump because once you hit your square button, you don't have to like instantly swipe across your X button to start mashing X to get that input in. You could just hit your square button and with your left hand, you'll just be mashing L1. To me, this feels so much more smoothly when it comes to super jumping a controller and this is the bind I've always been using. But it's up to you if you want to change it. If you're comfortable just super jumping the normal way, hitting square then to XX, up to you. Now for step number one, I want you to be comfortable when it comes to grabbing ledges. So what we'll do is we'll load into the firing range Go into the little movement area where the zipline is, and this is where we'll be practicing. So now that we're in a training gown, what are you going to do? You're going to ride this zipline up and practice grabbing this here ledge. What you want to do is aim so you don't have to climb up from the bottom, and you don't want to overshoot this. You want to grab mantle right onto the ledge pretty much. So keep practicing until you get this down, then move to the next step. Now before we get into step 2, I'm just going to give you a general breakdown of what we're going to be doing here. So once you're already on the ledge and you're holding on with your hands, you're going to want to input a forward movement. For M and K it'll be W, and for controller, you're just going to push forward on your jump stick. Once you're in the midst of the mantling phase, you'll want to break it. You could do this in one of two ways. You could either press S or your backwards movement key, or just pull straight back on your joystick over your controller, or you could simply crouch. This will make you fall directly down the zipline, and this is what we'll be practicing. So here's what we're going to be practicing in this step. We're just going to be hanging off of our ledge. So ride the zipline up and hang. Once you're hanging, practice putting that forward movement key in. So press W or forward on your movement key on your joystick. And then as you do this, hit your back key or your crouch button. Personally, I prefer using my crouch because it's more comfortable for me. And then you can try putting the two together. Start riding the zipline all the way up, grabbing onto the ledge, forward movementing as you see the floor and then hit your S and fall all the way down. Keep doing this until you get this down packed and move on to the next step. I know the timing can be a little bit tricky because if you mantle all the way up, it's just gonna pull you up on top of the ledge and you're just gonna crouch there. But if you do it too soon, you're gonna drop instantly while you're trying to climb up into the ledge. You wanna hit that sweet spot where you're just about to see the floor. Then you should hit your S key or your crouch button. Now that you've mastered step number two for mantle jumping, let's move on to step number three. Now that you're good with falling, the next step will be looking down while you fall. And you don't have that much time, you'll have to look down super quick and make sure that you're given the command prompt to E to lock onto the zipline, or if you're on controller, square. This is where playing on a high sensitivity really benefits you when it comes to mantle jumping. Because you don't have that much time, and pretty much within milliseconds of falling, you'll need to lock back onto that zipline. All you need to do is practice falling with your crouch or walking back button and looking straight down to the point where you can see the zipline within a couple of milliseconds. Now if you find yourself stuck in step number 3, you might want to raise your sensitivity. 
If you're playing on MK, it's pretty easy to raise your sensitivity or your DPI in general, but if you're playing on controller ALCs, you might want to raise your yaw speed. This is your up and down movement so you can look straight down, or if you're playing on classic or linear, the basic default settings, you might want to raise your look sensitivity. So give this a try and see if it improves. Now when it comes to step number 3, we're just going to mantle onto the ledge and we're just going to stay here. Now we're going to practice falling, looking down, and super jumping. So, first things first, when you should have grabbed onto the ledge, you're going to step back, fall, look straight down, make sure you see the command for E, or square in your case if you're playing on controller, and then hit your super jump. This should perform a super jump and you'll see what I'm talking about, It'll, but it'll only launch you straight up. You'll get the forward momentum when you're coming up the zipline, but since we're just standing in place here holding the ledge, it'll only perform a regular super jump for us. Now if you are having issues performing the super jump, remember these three steps. First steps first, fall. Second step, look down. Step three, super jump. So as you've been rehearsing the entire time, you're putting one step together now. So something that might seem like a lot of buttons you're pushing at once becomes pretty super easy. You're already just stagnant on a ledge, fall, look down, super jump, fall, look down, super jump. And if you do put the correct inputs in, you will perform that super jump going straight up. Now that you're comfortable super jumping off of a ledge, let's put together riding the zipline up and grabbing the ledge and super jumping off of a ledge. So step number one, you're going to ride the zipline as we practiced before, grabbing onto the ledge. After you've grabbed the ledge, we're going to perform step two, which we've practiced so far. You're going to let go of the ledge, look down, as you see the command prompt for E, perform your super jump and this should send you flying into the air. And congratulations, you perform your first mantle jump. But I think that'll wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you found this information useful and soon you'll be able to implement mantle jumping into your own gameplay. I know there are many steps and a lot of the steps may seem super simple, but don't move on to the next step until you master the current one that you're on. This just guarantees that you'll know every step down to the bone when it's time to put everything together because you'll be mashing a lot of buttons and trust me, once you hit your first mantle jump, it'll feel so rewarding. I know you'll get it down packed, and the key to mantle jumping is practice, practice, practicing. And once you have these steps down, and you're practicing your mantle jump every single day, you're on your way to become a movement god. You'll be impressing all your friends and your randoms throughout your pubs or rank game, and I know you'll be able to do it. But I think that'll do it for me. It's been my pleasure teaching you how to mantle jump. It's been Warham. Peace out. Bye.